Good morning, people of God. I'm Nazipo. And my testimony is based on the testimony that I gave out in December 2019, whereby I was called back from the company that fired me. And on the same December, on the crossover, the man of God gave me a prophecy that I will be promoted three times. And January 2020, I started working there. And I kept on praying for my prophecy to locate me. Although sometimes I'll ask myself, but how am I going to be promoted here? Because there's no one who's willing to resign so that I'll be promoted. And until there was a time after COVID, the company was expanding. So they created a position in my department, a senior position towards my position. And when I asked my boss, can I apply for this position? And he said no. And that didn't sit well with me. And I was hoping and expecting for my promotion in that office, not knowing that God is preparing my promotion on the other side. So, as what, due to what happened, I was annoyed. Then I started sending out my CV. And I sent out my CV. Not so long, I got a call for the first interview. And I went there. But on that interview, I wasn't myself. I don't know what happened. I couldn't speak, I was shaking, I was nervous. I couldn't even answer the simple question. I wish the floor can open and swallow me because I was like, I was embarrassed. And I went back home, but I kept on sending out my CV. But I've realized something that sometimes God will let something slide from your hands just for a preparation. When he showers you with blessings, you will be able to handle them. And few weeks, I got a call for a second interview in another company. And before that day for the interview, on Sunday, I spoke to Pastor Simpiwe, and he gave me a word of advice that I should wake up and pray before the sunrise. And on the day for the interview, I prepared my medium of faith that I had at home, because I had anointing oil, I had salt, and I had prayer points. And before I prayed, there's a scripture that came to my mind uh, in Exodus 3, whereby God was sending Moses to rescue the Israelites. And Moses said, but who am I? I can't speak. And then God said, Moses, go, I'll be with you. Go, I'll speak for you. And that's a prayer that I made, that God, you created me. I'm not a talkative person. So God, go with me and speak for me. And I prayed and anointed myself with a salt, I salted myself, and I also anointed myself with the anointed oil, and I put, I put the prayer point on my pocket, then I left, and even on my way, I kept on meditating that God be with me, go with me, and speak for me, and prepare my table, and yes, people of God, my second interview was the opposite of the first interview, I was calm, I was relaxed, I was more talkative, and I was responding to each and every question they were asking me. I was asking them questions. Even the interview went beyond the time because the communication was flowing. And after the interview, I told myself that this is my job. I got it. And I went home, but I waited for their call. I waited for first week, second week, third week, fourth week, or oh, the whole month. Then I gave up. Then I thought maybe they took somebody else. And even Pastor Simpio asked me, did you get that job? Then I said no, and my heart was bleeding. But Pastor Simpio said no, keep on praying like Sarah until you got what you want. And this month, two weeks back, I got a call from them, and they offered me a job. And yes, the prophecy came. Can we clap for Jesus Christ? But when I was waiting for their call, I was praying that, God, if these people they are going to give me this job, let them give me more than what I asked for. And yes, May 2, 21, 22 said, whatever we, you ask in prayer, you shall receive in faith. And yes, they gave me more than what I asked for. Amen. People of God, let us remember to be strong in faith. The only way your prayers can be answered is that's only if you believe that it has been answered. 
The book of James 4 verse 10 tells us to be humble and wait for the Lord and he shall indeed lift us up. The book of Psalms 75 verse 6 also tells us that the Lord shall promote us. Promotion does not come from the east, from the west, from the south, but it only comes from the Lord. Amen. Ma'am, thank you for your wonderful testimony and we believe that the Lord shall give you many more. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. Amen. And on top of that, they told me next year I can register to any institution and they will cover the cost. And on that point, growing up from disadvantageous family whereby I wanted to further my studies after my matric, but I couldn't due to finances. And all these years I've been trying to further my studies, but I couldn't. So I've learned something with God that if there was something that was meant for you, it doesn't matter how long the devil can block it or delay it. Once God say yes, it will locate you even when the sun is going down. Look at me, look at my age. I have to further my studies. 